I'm Rene Ritchie, and I'm gonna unbox the brand new Apple M1 MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, and Mac Mini, and I'm gonna do it right now. First up, the new M1 Apple Silicon Mac Mini. And you can tell that this is the consumer mini, not the pro mini, because it has reverted to its original consumer form. And this is the eight gigabyte of memory, 256 gigabyte of SSD version of the Mac Mini. In the box, we have this little helpful tab. We can just pull the Mac Mini right out and we'll put this aside for a second. Designed by Apple in California. The usual package. Let's see, usual content. Wait, lurking. I see you. You cannot escape. Aha! It's hard to tell in the light, but it is silver, not space gray. And we have the Mac Mini Quick Start Guide with Pro Display XDR. And I still kind of wish Apple would make a less pro XDR display, something just like the iMac panel. Here we have the power cord. No power brick goes straight into the wall. Pretty long cord. Now we can wait for the internet conspiracy theories telling us that this looks like a secret iPod shuffle. And here we go, the box. And so we have Apple logo on top. Again, silver bead blasted aluminum finish, not the space gray finish of the server side model, which I expect we'll see at some point using the same kind of uh, chipset that we'll see in the inevitable 16 inch MacBook Pro and iMac. On the bottom it says Mac Mini, indicator light, so you can tell when it's on. On the back we have power, ethernet. It's not the super fast ethernet, but you can still get a Thunderbolt adapter to get the super fast ethernet. Two Thunderbolt 3 USB 4 ports, only two because there are only two Thunderbolt lanes on the M1 chip, and USB 4 is basically USB-C that supersets. Thunderbolt 3, so it's just included in the spec now. HDMI 2.0, and then old school, old school USB-A, remember those? As well as the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. That's where they all went. Next up, M1 MacBook Air. And this is the eight gigabyte of RAM, 512 gigabyte of SSD version. Come on. Easy peasy tab, designed by Apple in California. And now I'm wondering what kind of sticker will be in this package. Two stickers. This one keeps two stickers, unlike the recent uh, generation iPhones, but they are small stickers, smaller than the Mac mini stickers by quite a lot. So do you prefer one big sticker or two small stickers? And yes, these are the questions that I need answers to. Let me know in the comments. We have the quick tips. And this time, no singular cord, of course, because these are mobile machines. These are machines that you need to be able to swap uh, charging solutions for. So we have instead, a USB-C, not to lightning, but to, I was so careful with the Mac mini not to damage the cardboard around the charges when I'm just ripping it off like it's, I don't know, Christmas come morning. Fairly long USB-C cable, did not measure it yet, did not use the measure app, but I wanna say two meters, very nice. And AC adapter in the box, so old school classic Mac style, tiny MacBook Air style. And this is 30 watts, so more powerful than the one that doesn't come with the iPhone anymore. And here we have the new Air. Apple logo right up front, little feet, table feet on the back. And of course this comes in silver, space gray, and gold. Still has that wedge-shaped design that will always, just always, make me think it's weaponized for Kratos. 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on one side, two Thunderbolt 3 USB 4 ports on this side. That's the same amount of ports that Apple's been offering on the MacBook Air since the reintroduction back in 2018. Whoa. And there we go, booting up. And last, but certainly most, the new M1 MacBook Pro. And this is a 16 gigabyte of RAM, one terabyte of SSD version. One moment. Same two meter long, wait a minute, American audience. Same six foot long USB-C cable, designed by Apple in California. What are your bets? Let me know. Before, before I open this, let me know in the comments. What are your bets? One sticker, two sticker, big sticker, small sticker. It's a Dr. Seuss unboxing. I can't help it. MacBook Pro and the reveal. Oh, two small, two, are they bigger? Hold on. They are bigger. Two stickers and bigger. Super big, single Mac mini sticker. 
the fairly big double MacBook Pro sticker and the smaller MacBook Air sticker. Do you have to collect them all? I don't know. But it's interesting that Apple is making <laughs> different stickers, different sizes. They look space black when they're not in the light, but they look really silver when they are in the light. Inside we have MacBook Pro tips. And why not? For all time's sake, for floss. Power adapter, again, in the box. And this is a hulking 61 watt compared to the 30 watt adapter MacBook Pro time. Apple logo on the front, little feet on the back. And while they are almost identical, if you're looking at them top down, if you're just staring at those logos, the MacBook Air is wedge shaped, which means that the height is actually just a little bit higher at the back, but it tapers down way, way, way more towards the front. For the ports, you have the same two Thunderbolt 3 USB 4, and that annoys some people, including me, because I think the pro name should just come with four ports, but Apple has long had a two port model. I think since 2016, it's sort of the lowest end, the entry level MacBook Pro, and this is continuing that tradition. And again, I imagine we'll have a M1X version a uh, more powerful 13 inch and certainly 16 inch MacBook Pro sometime next year or thereafter. But this version just has those two Thunderbolt lanes, so just two Thunderbolt ports and 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the other side. And unlike the MacBook Air, the MacBook Pro you can only get in silver and space gray because gold is just not a pro color. Pros don't want gold, do you? Let me know. So yeah, very, very similar systems, more similar than ever now that they have the exact same processor, the exact same M1 in both of them. Sure, you can get this with uh, a seven bin GPU instead of an eight bin if you wanna save a couple hundred bucks, but essentially they're the same machines. This one just has no fan if you prefer quiet and you're not doing a lot of high capacity, high power, multi-core workloads that will let the chip get hot and in this case throttle down because there is no active cooling where this one will just let it keep going for much longer because there is a fan, there is active cooling uh, and there's a bigger battery. So I forgot to mention the battery life. <laughs> Forget the chipsets, 15 hours, 20 hours of battery life. It's a whole new world out there. I'll have full reviews up as soon as inhumanly possible. So hit the subscribe button and then jump into the comments and let me know exactly what you wanna see. And if you have any more questions or just wanna chat about any of this, check out my members only Discord where we talk Mac, Apple Silicon, iPhones, iPads, watches, gear, workflows, and so much more. You can find it on Patreon. Yes, I have Patreon now, patreon.com slash Rene Ritchie. I set it up right after I quit my big media job back in March, back before 2020, and I started this new channel. And it's great because there's a whole preview section where I share ideas and outlines for videos or ask you for questions for Q&A videos, sometimes early versions of the videos before they go live, longer versions of interviews when they're available, like 45 minute long versions. And there are even ways to get your name into the description of every video, even the credits. To be more involved in this community and contribute directly to the creation of these videos and future projects like my podcast, Apple Talk with Georgia Dow, check out patreon.com slash Renee Ritchie or just click the link in the description. And clicking on that link really helps out the channel. For a ton more on Apple Silicon Macs, click on the playlist above. I'm doing in-depth analysis, reviews, and so much more to come. Click the playlist and I'll see you next video.